Hello and welcome everyone, Jakob Hack here from Hack Attack and this is not a normal Hack Attack episode so if you're expecting some kind of a review or some kind of a, you know, one of those normal videos then don't watch this video. This is basically a highlight mashup from something that happened this weekend, something rather surprising. So I was live streaming on Instagram due to me being banned from streaming here on YouTube, I've been trying to find other ways of doing it. And so I was trying out Instagram, which was pretty good actually. And then suddenly I got like an invitation from a Bo or like a request to to join the stream from Bo, from Bo Beats, uh, and I accepted it. And so this is what happens when two uh, crazy Swedish musicians get in on the same live stream unexpectedly and talk about uh, Mac books and furniture companies. I also have like a question for you viewers, uh, you know, uh, at the at, after the clip here. So if you would check it out and yeah. yeah. I'm waiting for Bo Beats. Bo Beats from Bo Beats uh, channel, trying to see if uh, Bo is here. Are you here, Bo? Yeah, I'm here. What's up? Oh, what's up, Bo? Uh, I'm Does trying this to... work? Oh my God, yeah. this is so cool. How yeah, are you it... doing? I'm doing fine, man. I'm doing absolutely fine. By the way, everyone, I absolutely love Bo Beats. Uh, he's got a great channel. Um, and yeah, sorry, but what I'm doing is I'm just testing out streaming on Instagram here. I've had some problems trying to set up my Twitch. It doesn't seem to stream the audio. Have you ever tried to stream on Twitch? Yeah, yeah, but I use, uh, I haven't had any issues. I use OBS uh, and it's not a problem. Uh, you know, Accurate Beats, he told me the same thing. And I'm like, oh man, I am also using OBS and I followed the damned... Uh, instruction, but, but it doesn't work for me. I don't know why I'm not getting audio while I'm streaming. How does that work? No idea. I mean, OBS is like, I'm, I'm not that good with it, but uh, well, firstly, I stream from a PC. So everything's much easier on Windows with OBS, I think. Are you using yeah. a Mac or? or... No, um, I'm using my iPhone right now. Yeah, uh, but for OBS? Yeah, for OBS, I'm using a MacBook. You know, the ones that actually have some ports on them. <laughs> uh, so uh, I'm happy with what I can do with iOS. I just don't yeah. like some of the things that are coming and that they're doing to the platform. And, you know, th yeah, that's just yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, I have the new MacBook Pro, uh, the one with the, the touch bar. I got it. The university got me one, but it's not very good. It's not very good at all. It's quite slow. Uh, the touch bar is malfunctioning a lot and the, the keyboard is pretty bad. Oh, give me a second. That, that was so unexpected, seeing that this function is here. Yeah, I'm in the middle of uh, in, doing inventory, basically, among the kids' clothes and everything. So I just took a little break, seeing you live stream. Uh, I was just at uh, Rusta and Jula and picked up some, um, some boxes and stuff, uh, some plastic boxes to put stuff. And... To anyone watching, if you're not from Sweden, Rusta and Jula, Jula is like, uh, two, they sell tools of all kinds. So uh, yeah. all kinds of garden equipments and screwdrivers, clothings, like everything. And when it comes to, to what, what, was, what was it you said? Rusta, Rusta. Uh, it's uh, like mm -hmm. a furniture company, isn't it? Oh, no. Uh, Rusta, I think it's like uh, random. Every Everything from like gardening stuff to, to oh. like home um, towels and, and stuff like that. And, and yeah. yeah, stuff like I, that. I think I was uh, <laughs> accidentally um, switching it with the uh, Yusk. It's another yeah, 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 yeah. company Yusk that we have. Uh, furniture. Yeah, Yusk more furniture. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I kind of like this function. I've tried to do this hmm? with Google. Uh, Google. Google is, is a new search engine. And uh, whenever I've used like Google Hangouts, it, it's yeah. kind of messy. But yeah. In, yeah. in this I case... I like UI. This, this was very simple. I just clicked like, okay, request to join. And that was it. So this is very smooth. The nice thing with this is that this can pretty much be done at any time with no real time ex expense here. Uh, why don't we do like a planned event on Instagram? Yeah, yeah, that that'd be awesome. I like Instagram yeah. because it's more uh, because it, it's, it's very much uh, spontaneous and and something you can just you can grab people very spontaneously if they have their phones out. You can join in quickly and stuff like that. So, well, I am hearing that the kids are probably starting to uh, destroy things. So I should get back. 
I hope to have you on, Jacob. Like I sent you the message. Hope to have you on the the best year of 2018 video. So now I'm putting you on the spot. You, you f- You know what? I'll call you uh, later on, maybe tomorrow when you're not so busy. And uh, let's get something done. So Super. thank you so much. You... Talk to you later, guys. Have a good <laughs> day. And Jacob, you know, you take it from here. Bring bring the synth knowledge. Yeah, absolutely. Smash subscribe. <laughs> yeah, right. thank you, later. man. See you guys later. Have a great day, man. Okay, I want to thank you so much for watching, and um, I also have a little idea. You see, I have a problem with doing live streams, um, not, not because I'm bad on YouTube. What I mean is, my problem has always been, I'm trying to do my live stream the same way I'm doing the Hack Attack episodes, like the reviews, the edited reviews, the edited um, demos, the, the edited interviews, all of that stuff, and I just feel that Every time I've done it, I don't feel happy with the result of the actual video. I feel happy with the uh, with the interaction I get from all of you viewers, but not with the content I've made myself. So what I would want a live stream to be, I, I have had some viewers told me this before, that the best thing with a live stream is when you can interact with the audience and the chat room just isn't enough for that. I would love to be able to invite some of you and talk to you live during a live stream. Now. As you saw in this clip with Bo Beats here, all he did was actually just send a request to be invited into the stream. I accepted it and it was on. And this is something that anyone can do since a lot of us have smartphones, right? And so it doesn't really matter if you have iOS or Android, you, you can all just join in and do that. And so I would love to uh, set a day, you know, maybe like a Saturday or a Sunday and a time I know that time zones can be a rather big pain in the EMA, but, 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 uh, it could still be a good idea, right? So I could have someone join up um, and then we could just chat for half an hour about something in iOS, like hardware, music, uh, production techniques, whatever, just talk and have an interaction. That would be more fun than just watching some dude do the same thing I do in my regular videos, only live, um, and I don't want to concentrate on only what I'm doing on screen. I want to talk to you. So yeah, that I just feel it would be a more interesting thing to have actually you viewers join up. You know, you've been watching my stuff for quite a long time. It, it, well, if you have been watching my, ugh. what I'm trying to say is I just want to, I just want to get some of you into the spotlight with me. And so we could talk, talk music stuff, talk mobile music stuff. Uh, or talk uh, about reasons why you maybe watch my content, but you don't actually do mobile music. You do everything on desktop or, or, or stuff like that. So why don't you tell me in the description? No, in the comments. Why don't you tell me in the description if no, you think it's a good idea? Uh, I think that uh, many of you are going to think it's a good idea. So just tell me, push me forward to do this. Give me, give me feedback. Give me feedback. Say, hey, Jacob, just do it. Um, uh, yeah. Okay, so now I do want to thank all of the viewers who joined up during the live stream, um, during the Instagram stream, and I also want to thank Bo's viewers. And you can find the links to Bo's channel down below and to my uh, my channel. You're on my channel. You had to 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 my Instagram and stuff. But I also want to do a shout out. I was recently invited to a Discord. You see, I have a Discord channel. It's called Hack Attack. Uh, you can find the link down below too. But what I want to do is shout out um, a, a new channel called the Audio Bus Folks. So basically, I was invited there by um, a user called Amirith. And it seems to be a chat room full of people that uh, usually hangs out on the Audio Bus forum. And now they're over at the Discord. Um, I'm not talking about discord.com uh, Tim Webb's site, you know, the iOS site. I'm talking about Discord, the chatting service that gamers use. Um, and now people like us. So uh, the group over there or, or the channel over there is called the Audio Bus Folks. The address uh, or the invite link is down in the description. You can go and join up because right now they're having conversations and, and chatting and stuff. So I just wanted to do, get it out there. Um, and uh, yeah, so go join up there. Um, as usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it. And if you're still here, it means you're one of those hardcore viewers that just cannot get enough of Hack Attack. 
Um, it, am I presuming that too early? Is that a wrong presumption of me? Either way, I'll tell you a story. Maybe you can hear that my microphone sounds weird. It's because I'm not using my regular microphone. I broke my iRig microphone. Yep, I broke it. During the live stream, or not during, but before the live stream, um, I had it placed on a note stand. That's basically what I've been using for four years, five years to, to use as a mix stand because I'm too cheap to buy another one. I'm already using one to hold my phone when I'm filming and live streaming. So um, I walked into it and the problem was I pulled the microphone with me. Now I've done this several times before and the iRig microphone, the iRig mic the, the microphone has held up uh, to so much abuse over the years. I mean, it's a real power, power, power horse, power horse. Um, it's pretty strong, but this time the drop into the floor was so hard and it hit just outside of the mat because I have this uh, floor mat and it softens the blow usually, but this time it hit the floor. So it, it just face planted right into linoleum and, and, and concrete. And I could hear that the bang was Oh, it was louder than it should be. And I'm like, this, this, oh my God, that's gonna leave a mark or it's gonna do some damage. And it did. When I opened it up, because I couldn't get any sound of it, I opened up the capsule part and the capsule was gone. And I'm like, where's the microphone capsule? And it was uh, still in the cap that you screw off to get into the um, uh, parts. Uh, because all of the um, leads going up to it, uh, where the solder joints are, had broken off, so it was loose. So now I have to figure out which of the three uh, cable leads goes to which of these three dots. Um, and I gotta find my soldering iron, which I hid very good because I can't find it, and I gotta solder it and fix it. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's just another thing I'm going to have to do. So, um, yeah, go finger everything. No, don't go finger everything. Just your music. Ah, never mind. Have a great day. Bye-bye. This can be a pretty lonely thing to do, and I think it's a really good thing to support each other along the way. What do you think, Jacob? Yeah, I would actually agree with that. I mean, it gets lonely. I don't know. I, I can't speak for any of you. I can only speak for myself, but...